To create a recipe in BevSpot, head to the Recipes tab in your account. You'll see all of your recipes that you've created, the sales price of that menu item, the total cost it costs you to make that menu item, and your cost percentage. You can always be confident that your recipe's cost percentages are accurate if you are recording your deliveries properly in BevSpot and updating prices as product comes in. You can group them by alphabetical order, by its menu group, or use the search bar to find a specific recipe. If you haven't created any yet or want to create more, head to the upper right hand corner where it says create new and you'll see a page that looks like this. Go ahead and add in the name of the new menu item and add in the ingredients. You are able to toggle to any unit of measure that works best for you. Just make sure the individual item's unit size is correct. After you're done building out your recipe, add in the sales price you're aiming to sell it for. You'll then see its cost percentage auto-populate. Want to work backwards? Put in the cost percentage you want to see this menu item at and we will be able to tell you what you should sell it for. Once you're done, just make sure you press save. Do you prepare some of these menu items in advance or in bulk? Or intend to incorporate these recipes in your inventory counts for the purpose of tracking its usage without having to count every single ingredient? Head to the inventory history page in your account and click on record prepared item. Here, what we are essentially doing is creating a whole new inventory item, comprised of already existing items in your account. After we're done here, you'll be able to view this recipe as you would any other item and even assign it to a storage area for you or your team to count next time. On the left hand side, add in the recipe of this batch. On the right hand side is where we're going to create this as an item. First, type in the name of this batch, then click create new item. Once this box pops up, think of the unit you put this batch in when it's done. A bottle, a can, a keg. Then, how much does this batch make? Is it 3 liters? 750 milliliters? Or in other words, envision you didn't make this and instead got this batch delivered from a vendor. How does it come? Then, copy over the cost from the left to the right and attach a new category to this brand new item. Next, incorporate the yield and the cost. If you don't want to account for any burn-off, just enter the same information twice. When you're done, click Record Prepared Item. Now this can be found as an inventory item and as a recipe. Head back to the recipe page to portion it out correctly and then head to your storage areas to assign it a home. Additionally, to properly keep track of this batch's cost of goods sold, make sure you come back into the inventory history page and click recreate every time another one of this batch is made. Don't forget to apply the right date and time it was created and always make sure you copy over the cost in case of any of the ingredients prices have changed between now and the last time you made this in DevSpot. Meet with our team today or chat with one of our support specialists who will walk you through this even more in depth.